listen, I told you, be better off red, okay? Just got real literal around here. We are painting ourselves today. <laughs> As you can tell from the background today, we're in hell, folks. <laughs> I'm a little terrified, I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little scared of this makeup because I'm afraid that this paint is going to tint my skin for days, but I'm doing it for you doing it for you. Hi guys, welcome back. In today's Spooky Luke video, we are becoming a devil. We, meaning me, us, together. You know what, Halloween parties are probably canceled this year, but you know what's not canceled? Zoom. You don't even need the rest of the costume, okay? Just neck up. <laughs> don't worry about the rest. So in today's video, I'm gonna turn myself into a glamorous devil. So most of the time you see devil, lady devil costumes, it's like sexy devils or like Betty Page type devils. And my first thought was I wanted, you know, like a very strong hairdo, red skin, boss bitch. So I'm gonna paint myself red. So the wig that I'm using today <laughs> pulled that thing out of the archives, you guys. I've had this wig for probably 10 years. I think it came from like Rite Aid or something. I mean, it is, it's old, but I gave her a little trim. I steamed her today. So hopefully that pays off. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Do I need to be wearing a wig cap the whole time? Probably not, but I'm gonna. My head just disappears into the background, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm just painting myself because I, I couldn't figure out a costume. And then I was thinking, you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna wear a blazer and paint my skin red. Done. First things first, I did cover my eyebrows with glue because I'm gonna be drawing different brows. I mean, my brows are very light and they're not very heavy. I don't have a heavy, thick brow. So just like one or two coats of glue. Oh, the face chart. I have a face chart for this one too. So it's, it's very glam. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing a very glam makeup, but red skin, very bold, lots of lash and a huge, I'm gonna really overdraw like a big, dark lip and super bitchy eyebrows. And then the black wig, horns, it's a whole thing. I'm just gonna press a little tiny bit of powder into the brows to set my glue just so that it's not sticky. I am gonna use water-based body paints today. I just don't want it to activate the brow and kind of rub it off, you know? Not that it really matters for me because of my little ghosty brows, but I think I'm just procrastinating because I'm scared. <laughs> so my costume is just a black blazer with nothing underneath. <laughs> Scandalous. I have some red gloves so that I don't have to paint my hands. Ooh, and it's gonna be cold. Oh God. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use my Maron Paradise Paints water activated paints. I'm gonna use a foundation brush and I've got a container of water. I'm just going straight into the red. I'm only concerned body wise about like my neck and bust area. I don't have to do my arms because they'll be underneath the jacket, lucky for me. I haven't decided what day I'm going to post this particular look. Think this one might land on Halloween. So happy Halloween, <laughs> if it's Halloween. Happy Halloween if it's not Halloween, you know? We need to enjoy the month of October. It's the only month of the year that we get to enjoy. So what I'm finding is helpful for getting a nice even color is kind of to do like like a crisscross sort of pattern and not go over it too too much because you just start to wipe it away i mean honestly this makeup really isn't that complicated either none of these looks have been that complicated or really required a lot of extra stuff it's just taking a little bit of time and if you are going to a zoom halloween party you could be a devil on the top and sweatpants on the bottom which aren't we all <laughs> okay I'm going in. I wonder what's gonna happen with my camera. I'm a little nervous. The wig that I'm wearing has bangs, so I'm not super concerned about getting real close to my hairline. But I am painting my whole self red. Oh God. Being very careful around my eyebrows, I can definitely see where the glue is. I look insane. Oh man, my camera is not gonna like this. This looks crazy. <laughs> so 
So this paint is alcohol free, so it is okay around your eyes. I wouldn't get too crazy with it, but you can get pretty, you can get pretty in there, man. All right, so what I have discovered is that this water activated paint has reacted to the glue. Love that for me, looks great. The body paint portion is complete. I just need to, I need to dry. Let me look at what's going on with these eyebrows. Yeah, so you can see where I put the glue. Straight up see where it was, but. Yeah, this is really disappointing, this paint on these brows. So I think what I'm gonna do is remove it, try to get that glue off, and then I'll just paint, hopefully. Yeah, look at my eyebrow. You see that orange? It's from the glue, crazy. That is ruining the illusion for me. Okay, take two, take two. let that dry. I guess I can put my robe back on. Okay, so now that I've got my red base on, let's tone it. Okay, so I have just a regular foundation stick. This color is actually pretty light for me and I'm gonna just put it in all the regular places and try to make this a little bit more even. It's still red, but it's probably gonna turn a bit more pinkish. We'll bring the red back with some shadows later, but it's a good start. Wow, this looks crazy. We're definitely turning pink. <laughs> That's okay. We're trying to bring back that dimension that I lost when I painted my face one color. I think I probably should have put that makeup on the sponge and not directly on my face because it, it was a little difficult to blend out. Hopefully once we get some powder on here, our life's gonna get a little bit easier. I'm gonna go just even a little bit lighter. I have a, a white cream stick, white Maron cream, cream stick. I'm gonna apply it straight to the sponge and then go into the eye and see what we get. Yeah, a little bit lighter, huh? Now this cream stick is super duper emollient. It's staying blendable <laughs> a little longer than that foundation was. The foundation I think was just kind of drying up. even but that's okay let's move into powders I have some translucent powder here I'm going to dip my damp sponge into it start pressing in Well, this red is really difficult to work with you guys <laughs> really difficult this is a challenge we will overcome we will overcome don't worry okay so i want to lay down a little bit of i guess contour color the reddest blush that i have it's well it's like a brick color honestly it's probably a little little brown for this but what i want to do is try to just even up this color that's helping. The red has dried pretty pink and all of this lightening and um, highlighting that I've been doing is definitely bringing pink to the front. I'm trying to bring it back down to a true red so I'm adding more like brown tones. Still look insane, but a little bit better. So now let's do some real contouring because I mean, my face looks crazy, but I do want to get snatched. You know what I mean? All right, so I've got a nice angled brush. I'm gonna dip into more of like a, it's an eyeshadow really, gray toned eyeshadow. <laughs> let's contour. Trying to create a very pointy nose. Take that same shadow under the lip. I mean, I'm gonna, I plan to severely overdraw these lips, so 
I want to have a butt chin today because I think that looks ferocious. Just want to accentuate my chin because I feel like it looks a little bit more devilish. Mm. <laughs> okay, we need to get some, we need to get some um, eyeshadow going, right? Do you think we need brows before we move on? Probably, huh? I'm gonna use a very light pencil before we move into something else. Now, because the glue situation uh, was a total disaster for me with the paint, you can really see my brows. So I'm going to have to use them, but that's okay. That is a-okay. It's actually probably a little easier, so. Can't see this. <laughs> Just starting here with a pencil, I'm probably gonna end up using liquid liner. It's a good start. Glad that I did the guide first. That was helpful. I'm staying really skinny right now because I feel like skinny brows look the bitchiest, right? Skinny brows are on and there is a little, like an, a little bit of an upward flick at the front of the brow. That helps to just look pissed off, <laughs> right? Let's get into some R shadows. I'm really leaning into the red factor. I'm gonna do like a wing illusion, but smokier you know what I'm saying so what I want to lay down first is just some good old red eyeshadow got a super pigmented one here don't have to worry about fallout because my face is already red <laughs> so I'm gonna do the eyeshadow now and then I feel like I need to maybe do a little bit more contouring work but let's get the eyes on first I'm having a hard time you guys this red body paint is really it's giving me it's giving me some trouble <laughs> That butt chin. I want to use that red shadow to kind of help even things out. So I've got a larger brush. I'm gonna try to blend this contour a little bit. You know who I look like? <gasps> Sharon Needles. Oh my god. <gasps> my hero. I love her. It's the butt chin. We need to start darkening this eyeshadow look. Hopefully it cooperates. I look in I look insane. How many times have I said that this video? Anybody keeping track? <laughs> okay, so let's start in the outer corner. I want to do a wing without actually doing a proper wing. It's just sort of the illusion of a wing. And I want to use shadow to do it. So I'm just adding a little bit of black eyeshadow into the crease and kind of helping to form this eye shape a little bit more. All right, now let's bring this dark shadow onto the lower lash line, just for a little bit of smokiness. So I want to try to connect this line with my contour line to help really drive this point home. Yes, everything points to the butt chin. <laughs> Do we want to add glitter to this? I mean, the answer is always yes to glitter. Let's be honest. I wonder if it would be cooler if we didn't have it. Okay, so I'm gonna use my finger red shadow. It is red, red, red. I just wanna try to pat it on to make it super duper de bold. And it worked, love it. Definitely brought the red back, so that makes me very happy. So the intercorners are definitely red. Everything is red, isn't it? It's better, it's better off red. <laughs> Just trying to create a little bit more division between my eye and my cheek. Adding a little bit of red shadow right here inside my cupid's bow. Hopefully that will help once I get to the lips to really plump them up, give the illusion that there's a lot going on right there. I know we've already shadowed under there, but I'm really trying to emphasize this shadow because I'm, I'm gonna overdraw. Just trying to even things out a little bit. Okay, I do feel like I need a little bit more like red, like red cheeks. So again, I'm gonna use my old friend contour brush <laughs> in this red eyeshadow that's so pigmented. You didn't know that you could blush and also still have a red face. But you can, because I said so. <laughs> I'm gonna try to add a little bit of highlight up here under my bitchy brows. Let's just use a white shadow and see what we get. It's a white matte eyeshadow and I'm just gonna apply it everywhere that I normally would highlight my face. Ooh, that is 
very devilish. <laughs> so pointy. So, do you think I could use that blue highlighter that I'm crazy about? Do you think that would just ruin everything? I guess we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna use my finger. Yeah, that's it. Okay, now we need, what we need to do is highlight this butt. Oh, I need to put on my eyes but I'm also gonna put on contacts, so I'm kind of like, do I put the contacts in now and then do the eyeliner? What should I do? Maybe I should just at least do the lashes, the top lashes. Hmm? Some good old black mascara. Nothing special. Eyelashes. These eyelashes are insane today, folks. Totally bonkers, off the rails crazy. <clears throat> so I originally had different lashes planned for this look, but I saw these in the Halloween section and I couldn't resist, but they are huge. They're like heavy. They're weighing my eye down. <laughs> okay, so I've added some black liquid liner onto the top just to hide these this lash band a little bit. Hopefully from far away it looks good because up close it's not good. Okay, so I'm, I'm overdrawing my lips big time today. I do have a lot more to do with the lower lash line and such, but I am gonna put on contacts and I think it's a smarter idea for me to put the contacts in first and then mess around with the lower lash line stuff, you know, just in case. So in the meantime, I'm gonna put on some liquid lipstick and my plan is to overline my lips like crazy. to try to extend my smile to look a little bit more devious. Even as it's gonna get today. Ooh, look how white my teeth are. Is this the key? Black lipstick? Sign me up. I think it's time for contact lenses and then we'll work on the bottom lashes a little bit more, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully this is not gonna ruin everything. I'll be right back. Contacts are on. They're awful. No, they feel great. They feel great. I'm telling myself how great they feel. So while that lens is settling in, I'm just going to take a little bit of black eyeshadow and run it on the lower lash line. So we're nearing the finish line. I'm just gonna add a little bit of black cold pencil in my water line. Hopefully that will not set me into a, a tizzy. Ooh, yes. It's so funny, These the lenses, these are white lenses, but they almost look like blue or something. I don't know. I'm gonna add a couple of under eye falsies because I just think that looks super ferocious. Man, I really, I really look like Sharon Needles. Look at this. Okay, let me put on the rest of my get up, which is just a jacket and a wig, and I'll be right back. like at all. I found this horn headband at Spirit Halloween. Something different from regular double horns because it, you know, it's like a metal frame, but I glittered them myself. I just sprayed them with some, you know, spray adhesive and then added glitter, just spooned it on until it wouldn't stick anymore. And then these gloves, you might remember, these are from last year from the Greta Gremlin look. So they're just Spirit Halloween satin gloves. And then I super glued these like werewolf nails onto them. So it's, you know, Secure, I don't have to worry about them coming off. And then this is just a black blazer. Well, I am ready for my Zoom Halloween call coming at you from hell. Okay, well, thank you so much for hanging out today and for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this one, then consider checking out my how-to costume playlist that has all the Halloween past looks and all of the looks from this Halloween season as well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video as much as you can. It really helps my ego. <laughs> no, it really helps my channel out. It pushes it out so more people can see it and then more people can join our little family and then we can just sit around being awesome together. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe before you leave today. I upload new videos here on YouTube every week and you can follow me on some of the other social channels as well. This has been an amazing Halloween season. I have loved every minute of it and thank you so much for hanging out with me while I indulge myself in all of this spookiness. You guys are the best and I will catch you next week in next week's video. Bye! Today's video. Wow, why do I talk like that? I'm not gonna say it out loud, but I don't disagree. I have some, um, ha ha ha.
language was that? That butt chin though. We're gonna make it work. I just wanted to turn out good. Let me get my life together. Oh, poor me. That looks like a mustache. Look how pointy it is. This <laughs> contact lens. White matte. It's a white matte eyeshadow. Dark. <laughs> okay, that's encouraging. It came off my lips. <laughs> hey, you wanna see something crazy? Well, there's a kiki in here pooping. Can you see my horns? Oh, I'm out of focus. <laughs> Excuse me. Blazer. It's not red. Wow. Jeez, these lights are so bright that you can't really see. Oh my god, my chair is so squeaky. Squeak, squeak, squeaking, squeaking. Can you see the boom? I'm pretty excited about this. I think this came out pretty good. 